Pisces. Welcome to my channel. How are you? <laughs> These are weeklies, uh, March 1 to 7. Before we start, I may have an announcement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Follow my Instagram, uh, Salvidora or Eat Read Love Inc. Those two. And or my Facebook, Eat Read Love Inc. For an update, if I do my personal read, so make sure you are in the loop in the circle. Mm -hmm. For the people who like chunky crystals that I'm talking about, <laughs> it's also available on my website. Okay, let's begin. How are you? March 1 to 7. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Pisces. March 1 to 7. Let's give this a go. Deload, 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 deload. Ten of Pentacles, Pisces, we gotta stop, stop the train, stop the horses, stop driving because we are gonna go Pentacles, 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 yes. We all can use a good Pentacle, you know, can all use this stability. This is what you're having here. Can be relationship, but let's just put in the Pentacles. <laughs> let's seal the deal. We did this for the Libra. I'll raise you with an amplifier. <laughs> <laughs> together with my mold right so that people will get their blessings. I wish you guys everybody um, a lot of blessing that comes your way. Uh -huh. so there you go. Enjoy it, Pisces. Uh -huh. That's good. That's good. Um, how was else? Family is good, of course. This is a payout. Okay. This is uh, can be getting um, someone owes you money and then they give you back, but can be also family giving you money. Okay. In tropical. Astrology, I'm pretty sure you will say, it's just like, yes, Sal, it's my birthday. You know, in all good faith, happy birthday. Even though you're an Aquarian. <laughs> just saying. Okay. It's still your birthday. I didn't take that away from you. Okay. <laughs> but you will get the blessing regardless. See? Regardless what your zodiac you are, you're still going to get the blessing. Doesn't matter. Okay. Here we go. Let me see the other person. Queen of Pentacles, who's taking care of you or are you taking care of someone? Let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're just enjoying someone's gift. Someone's going to give you a gift or you're going to give a gift to someone. Someone, definitely you're going to get a gift over here. It's it's an object, material, of course, possession. Um, and it, it someone spends on this. <laughs> someone break the bank. To give you something and you're gonna enjoy it let's see here oh and you will mm -hmm, like it will be softy after that you got a queen of cups someone will show you it's like they put all their effort in this kind of gift or energy that they're giving you and you will tell them that's so sweet of you thank you i appreciate that no in all sincerity i'm I, that's how i i, I say thank you <laughs> But I'm pretty sure you have more watery in there. It's like, thank you very much. Yeah. For me, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I look at that one. A Queen of Cups. Uh, sincere. Someone can just be also giving you their commitment. And you appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate your commitment. <laughs> you, This person holds dear to you. Can be mom energy, of course. So you could be probably taking care of this person for a lot of times already. Um, you've given this a lot, this person a lot, so which explains Bhusha Nakshatra with the Cancer and Energy. Because the Ten of Pentacles is um, a lot of um, a lot of things that you have given to this person. Vice versa. You're always there for this person. You were always in my mind. The Sun card, wake me up before you go, go. Flying so low. The Sun card. You're happy. I'm happy you're happy, Pisces. Whoever you are. Because I'm pretty sure other people will say, I'm not that Pisces, so. <laughs> and some Pisces are happy. <laughs> okay. The Sun card with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this is someone who has exaltation in their 10th house. Sun in the 10th house. Someone here is coming to the rescue. You are... I'm not sure how Sun in Cancer is. There's nothing special with the Sun in Cancer. Sorry, it's not. 
Okay? It's just like a regular chart. It's sun and cancer. Yeah, okay. It's sun and cancer. It's not. It's not special. You go to the rising and you get the moon. That's where the special good stuff is. Yeah. This is two people agreeing also to be together or to be in the same path as what they are. You know, this is an agreement. It may not be a relationship, but it leads to the relationship. But right now, you guys are agreeing on a certain goal. They want you to make the choice for them. At the Eight of Swords. They can't be bold enough. They'll be happy that you do it for them. This is a person who wants you to make the decision. They're giddy if you make the decision, but they won't make the decision for you or vice versa. That's why you guys are, have this silent thing going on right now, and then it's just that... Um, they're waiting for you to make the first move or, you know, if you say something, they'll they respond to it. Yeah. If they say the L word, I'll make sure I say it, but I'm not going to say it first. So this is the part of who says who first, right? Who say, who will say the big thing first? Who will say I do first or, you know, in that kind of energy? Who will hold the hand first? You know, it's like, okay, well, if I hold this person's hand, then it means something, okay? So who becomes the initiator? So they're just waiting for you to initiate. I'm not sure how, how you will. Um, but the person you're dealing with, they will wait for you to do something first. They're excited. My tummy is churning and it's not even lunchtime. Okay. So I know how excited this person is. Okay, so let's see how this person waits or what will happen if you do make the first move. Because it's supposed to go to something good with the sun and the ten of pentacles. Okay, I'll see you guys again, Pisces. Bye!